What is happening all you happy tool peeps? We are back here in the shop today to check out some really awesome new tools that we've got going. Well, some of them are new, some of them are old, but as you've seen in the description, we're gonna go through, in my opinion, the top 10 tools that save me time here in the shop. I'm feeling really good. I got rid of my stupid glasses. It's really nice. I've been waiting for a while to get some new contacts, so finally got them, and this is awesome. Here back working in the shop, and the 10 tools that I've picked, they're not all snap-on tools, but they're tools that just, in general, save time. Everybody's found that one tool that turns that 10-minute job into a three-minute job. And when you're working flat rate in this kind of business, it really makes a difference in the long run. It really does help. It, it, it does help. So here's a look at my top 10 tools that are going to save the most amount of time. So as a flat rate mechanic working on automobiles, which I am, you guys might have something different. You might be a diesel mechanic, you might be working on trains or whatever, but in my field, working as a flat rate tech, these are the tools that I find save me the most time throughout my day. First one that we come to is the mini ductor. This thing uses inductive heat, puts out a whole bunch of amperage through these coils, inducts this into a bolt, and it heats it up cherry red without having to use a torch. It's a really neat tool. And these heads, you're able to get bigger ones, smaller ones, whatever ones you need to fit into whatever space you need and not very many people have seen these. They work great, especially if you're like by gas tanks and you can't have an open flame. This is the way to do it. Let's uh, see how this thing works real quick. So as you can see, we have a very rusty sway bar link bolt. This is where this tool really shines. We're gonna show you just how this thing works with its induction heat. We're gonna be able to put this thing right over the bolt it's not even hardly touching it just put it over it and pressing the buttons turning now it's going to heat it up through like i said earlier induction vibrates the particles in that bolt heating it up without any flames this thing works great for suspension parts it works even better when you're talking about getting things loose around gas tanks so you don't have to have open flames around fuel tanks that nut, it has the nylon coating inside of it. If anybody's ever done sway bar links before, you know that these things, they just spin because this nylon likes to hang on to everything and it won't ever let loose. So we're able to heat this bolt up real hot in a matter of you know 20, 30 seconds here. Now we're even smoking. All in all, it's a great tool. Next one we come to are these right here. These are wire piercing tools. They come with a fluke multimeter or a full fluke multi-pack, and it's just another little addition to a great fluke kit. Um, what you do is these little black tabs right here, you're able to pull them back, insert a wire in there, and then tighten this tab down, and you can see there is a little pin right in the middle and that's able to pierce the wire so you're not having to go shove your test light into all these wires jabbing yourself in the hand so you know that tool does save you time next one in general I do have the two tools that you see here by snap-on in the 14 4 line I've got the 3 8 impact and the quarter inch air rat you know electric ratchet but they are tools that just in general are a part of the 14-4 line that is just 
an amazing amount of tools. They have the 3 8 electric ratchet, the 3 8 gun, the quarter inch gun, drills. They've got a line that, you know, feeds what, you know, fills whatever need you need in the shop. That's why I have to put the 14.4 snap-on line into this list. Next one is going to be a Lyle tool. Not a snap-on tool, yes, it is a Lyle tool. Test kit number 56810, it is a relay jumper kit. And as you can see here, you, these relay jumpers, you're able to unplug a relay out of the standard box that you're going and working with, and then plug it into the top right there. Plug this down back into the vehicle that you're working on, and it works just as it normally would with the relay plugged in, except for you have these nice little test pins here to use or to jump across to be able to test the circuit while you're working on it. Another great kit that needs to be on your time-saving tools. Next one we come to is this Wilton, I call it the BFH. A really big freaking hammer when those stupid rotors will not come off and all you have is grandpa's piddly little hammer that just has a little claw head to it. Nah, that stuff ain't gonna work. You need a real hammer to do the real job, save yourself some time, save your energy, get a real hammer to take that stuff apart. As here in the rust belt, you know, you gotta be able to take that rusty component off. Next one in line, I've got this one specific one out just because I use it most often, but they are torque sticks. These are able to go on to my half inch impact, which would go on like that, put your socket on the end of it and this is a torque stick this one specifically is 100 foot pounds which is a lot of the chrysler vehicles that i work on have lug nuts that go to 100 foot pounds doesn't matter if i've got my impact gun turned up all the way this thing once it reaches 100 foot pounds will start to twist and then not allow that impact to put that lug nut on any tighter than 100 foot pounds you have to test these every once in a while. You know, you, they do run, they do wear out, so you'll have to replace them. I usually replace mine about every three to four years worth, which it is a long time, but it works really well. Next one is one that I did pick up very recently. I'm not sure of the part number on it, but it is another Lyle tool. This is for testing draws. So these leads right here, you're gonna unhook your battery Probably, preferably the negative end. You're gonna put one end on the battery terminal, one end on your wire lead that would have went onto there, and then that will, in turn, connect the circuit. You let that go through a cycle to where all the modules are able to wake up and then die off, and then these two leads right here plug into your amperage and ground ports on your multimeter at your the time that you want to start testing them, all you have to do is flip a switch and the amperage, instead of traveling in one of these leads out the other and just completing the circuit, will instead go through these leads and go through your meter. That takes down the time of having that spike in the system and then you have to wait for the system to go back to sleep again, which takes two to five minutes. All in all, saves you time and is just very nice. You don't have to get a whole bunch of clamps and big adapters out because your meter leads won't fit on the end of the battery. It's a really great tool and it saves me a lot of time. Next, moving on, is a small scan tool that I've had for a very long time now. I'm not even sure if they still have these or not, but it is a really good tool. It's a Bluepoint EECR little diagnostic scan tool. This thing does an amazing amount of work for the price. When I purchased this, it was only about $140. So for that price for a scan tool, it's great. It's able to read 90% of engine codes across all manufacturers, also reads and clears airbag codes. I know it, a lot of scan tools you, you were looking for are for the in and out diagnostics. This is just able to look at some input pins for, to this and you're able to clear codes as well. When that's all you want to do, you want to go out to the car, you want to be able to read the code, you want to say, yes, I fixed that, clear it, and I don't have to wait on my Zeus to power up and take like 
seven or eight minutes to you know click through all the little buttons and find out which vehicle I need and want auto ID it and then look in through each module look for the code it just this is a lot faster turns that eight minutes into 30 seconds awesome time-saving tool and then one of the last ones we have here I just picked up about two and a half weeks ago and I've used it about five times and it saves the most time probably out of all of these tools it's the snap-on cooling system refiller part number is SVT SRAD 272A I know a lot of other technicians have done things here on YouTube showing you how this works why it works in you know just a short little tidbit it goes on to your radiator cap uses shop air to pull a vacuum using Venturi takes it down to 25 uh, I believe it's inches of vac inches of mercury in vacuum and then you're able to put this in into a coolant bucket open the other end and it sucks and fills the system fills the entire cooling system without having to bleed anything and for you other Mopar, Mopar guys the Dodge trucks we've been doing a whole lot of water pump recalls lately using this tool turns that 15 20 minute maybe even half hour bleed time for those trucks to about three and a half minutes the longest thing that I have to do is get a five gallon bucket clean it out to make sure it's clean to fill the system all in all this is one of the most time-saving tools that I have and if you were wondering that was only nine tools so the tenth tool it is a time-saving amount of tools and it's not just a single one when you look at a technician you've always got these fancy little pockets here. Whoa, these pockets are always full of just junk usually but these are the main three things that I use We've got a fancy little pen flashlight. I, I've got a Milwaukee one right now, but in general, you can use a snap-on one, you can use a streamlight one. I prefer the little streamlight ones, but anytime somebody says, hey, come have a look at this one real quick, instead of having to walk over to my toolbox, get a flashlight out, go and have a look. It's time I just flip this out of my pocket, have a look, it works. Always have to have a pen, filling out documents as a technician all day long, you need a pen. And the best tool in any good mechanics arsenal is the trusty magnetic flat tip screwdriver. I don't really know of any circumstances to where you really need a flathead screwdriver for taking out flathead screws. It never happens. But you need trim clips taken off, you need something a little pried out, you need a piece of trim pried off, that's what that's good for. You drop something into a little vent, Magnetic end, works great, it's magnetic, it's able to pick up screws that you drop, and fits in my pocket, stuffed away to work away all day. Well guys, that was a look at my top 10 list of the tools that save me the most time throughout my day, working on cars in the automotive industry, or just in general around the shop. Down in the comments, I want you guys to give me a couple of descriptions of what you guys use to save you time. If you're in the diesel field, if you're in the smaller car market, you work on lawnmowers, I want to hear what saves you the most time. Let's can get a conglomeration of you know what you guys use and put those down in the comments and maybe we can help save each other a bunch of time in the long run too. Thanks for stopping into the channel again today guys. Make sure you leave those comments down below, hit that like button, and make sure you turn on that little bell icon so you can get notified of when I come out with new and great comment for you guys to enjoy. Thanks for stopping in, and make sure you guys, as always, stay awesome.